Hey everybody, it's Tim again, here with a quick how-to video from LeatherSeats.com. We recently had a customer order a full interior kit for their 2009 Dodge Challenger RT. We built his kit in two-tone dark graphite with red inserts, contrast red double stitching, and RT Challenger logos on the front seat backrests. We built the rear seats to match in two-tone dark graphite with red inserts and contrast red double stitching. After consulting with one of our aftermarket leather experts about options we offer for local installation and the overall difficulty level of the project, our customer decided he wanted to tackle the install himself. A few weeks later, the customer dropped by again to tell us about his experience. He said he was able to install the replacement seats with no issues, but he was struggling with the door panels. He had managed to recover the upper factory cloth door inserts in contrasting red, but wasn't all that happy with the results. He also wanted to recover the factory door armrest sections of the door panel, but was concerned about the fact that the door armrests were plastic welded in from the factory. After talking with one of our experienced installers, the customer decided to let us handle this section of the install. As you can see, the door armrests are now wrapped in black with red contrasting stitching, but I wanted to show you guys what went into this transformation. We start by turning our plastic welder onto the preheat setting. From there, we use a razor blade to cut away the insulation on the back of the door panel. We don't show it here, but there are three screws on each door armrest that must be removed before the armrests will come out. In this case, the customer had already removed the screws for us. With the plastic welder up to operating temperature, we begin to melt the first few plastic welds. We use the welding iron to warm the plastic and then slowly try to work the plastic up creating a cylindrical vertical rod of molten plastic. These factory plastic weld spots were once just cylindrical vertical plastic rods that were a part of the door armrest mold. To weld the door armrests in at the factory, a computer controlled plastic welding head was used to melt and compress the vertical plastic post down, anchoring the door armrests into the door panel. Attempting to rebuild the vertical plastic welding posts allows the plastic weld to be pulled back through the door panel and potentially reused when we are ready to put the door armrests back in. This process of melting the factory welds into a reusable form is a painstaking task. Expect to spend at least 45 minutes to an hour per door during this removal process. We prefer to try to salvage the original plastic welds to maintain the original structure integrity of the door panel and armrest.
We do have to release the four plastic welds on the center door grab handle bezel as well in order to remove both door armrests. After melting all the plastic welds back into vertical rods, we pry between the upper and lower door panel sections to see if all the welds are loose. With all of the welds free, we are able to pull out the center door grab handle bezel as well as both door armrests. From there, we use a staple pulling device to remove the factory door armrest covers by prying out all of the staples. After removing the factory covers and cleaning out the remaining staples, we begin installing the new door armrest covers. The new armrest covers are installed just like the factory covers using a pneumatic staple gun pushing quarter inch staples. It is very important for us to make sure that the door armrest cover is positioned properly before going too far with the stapling. We get an initial position on the door armrest cover using only a few staples to make sure that the double stitch seams are straight and sitting properly on the crest of the armrest. After getting some initial staples in, we cut slits in the cover to allow the plastic welding rods to push through. The process of fitting, stapling, trimming, prepping, and finishing a single door armrest cover can easily take as much as 20 to 30 minutes to do correctly. After we are done, our goal is to have newly wrapped door armrest covers with a decorative double stitch seam running across the crest of the armrest. From there, we just have to push the door armrest welding rods back through the holes in the door panel and weld everything back together. Since the customer didn't leave us with the screws that held the front edge of the door armrests into the door, he will be putting them back in just before the door panels go back in the car.
If you have any questions about making this work on your Dodge Challenger doors, or if you're interested in upgrading your interior from cloth to leather, feel free to give us a call or send us an email. We can build anything from an OEM style single tone black leather interior to a completely custom package with options like two tone, perforation, embroidery, contrast double stitching, piping, and much, much more. Again, my name is Tim. If you have any further questions about our products or if you'd like to see some free leather samples, give us a call at 866-NEW-SEAT. Leatherseats.com. Custom look, factory fit.